So uh, today, guys, uh, Todd, good morning. Good morning. Uh, we've already had a, a meeting this morning, so it's uh, been a great way to start Friday. But um, good morning to all of you, and, and happy Friday. Hope your weekend is, is looking good. The weather here in Chattanooga, in particular, is going to be really, really good. So uh, get out and enjoy yourself. Uh, but what we're going to be talking about today is, is, you know, when it comes to retirement planning, there's really three worlds of money that you can use. I mean, there, there's all kinds of different vehicles out there. Uh, as a matter of fact, Tyler, I mean, I think people are overwhelmed by how many vehicles are out there when it comes to retirement planning. There's a lot of choices to make. There are a lot of choices, and it's a matter of uh, finding the right combination of these three vehicles uh, for your specific situation. You know, everybody wants uh, growth, they want safety, and they want to be able to write a check uh, today off their money, but yeah. there's not one vehicle that will do all three of those things. The nice thing is, is you can use a combination of each of what we're going to be talking about to satisfy all those needs. Yeah, so so the three worlds of money, just to let you guys know, uh, of course we have our Wall Street money. We have our money in, in our broker accounts, in our 401ks, things like that. So you got Wall Street money out there, but then you got banking money, uh, which we do think that's an important part. Um, and then your third world is, of course, Todd, going to be the insurance world. So I, I like what you said, blending all those things together you know, can make all your money really count for you, make every penny count, so to speak. Yeah, you want to make sure that you're using all three of these different um, vehicles to work cohesively for you uh, to be able to satisfy all of your needs. I mean, the reality is, as you go into retirement, you may be looking at 25, 30, 40 years of needing an income to satisfy mm -hmm. uh, your needs for that time, and you want to make sure that you're using all three of these vehicles to, to be able to do what you want. Yeah, so when it comes to that, I mean, if you look at the three worlds, I mean, people are like, what? we ask folks all the time, you know, what do you want your money to do for you? Well, I don't want to lose any money. I want it to grow, and I want to be able to get it to, get to it whenever I want it. So, um, you know, all those things kind of come into play, but there's not one vehicle that satisfies that need. I right. mean, that's why we need all three, right? It is, yeah. So, I mean, you know, you want to make sure that you're protected. You want to make sure, you know, the, the reality is that, that, that you want to make sure that you have your goals in mind uh, moving forward so that you can choose how much you want to allocate to each of these vehicles and safely meet your goals. You know, if, you're, if your goal is to leave a legacy, you know, maybe you, you want to use that in creating your overall uh, goal for retirement. You know, some people don't necessarily want to leave a legacy. They want to use it all, and, and your goal is going to be different than that, than that other person that wants to really leave a legacy. Yeah, exactly. So the number one need and the number one fear, I guess, in America when it comes to retirees uh, is, is running out of money. So we feel that the first goal that you should use these worlds of money from is going to be the income needs, right? Yeah, you want to try to figure out what your incomes are going to need in retirement. There's a lot of different ways to do this. There's several uh, retirement calculators. BlackRock is one uh, mm -hmm. that's used quite frequently. You plug in, you know, all of your different, um, all of your different needs for income in retirement, and it's gonna it's gonna let you know how to budget yourself. You know, so that you can find out what your what your magic number is going to be. Yeah. Uh, in order to satisfy your income need, and then you can work on the other things from there. Yeah, I think that's important too. You know, when it comes to retirement budgeting, um, it, it's really going to help us with you determine when to turn that Social Security on. Because as all of you mo probably know, your Social Security is going to roll up at eight percent a year uh, the longer you defer that payment. So, if we have a budget put in place and we find what, where those gaps are that Todd's talking about, we might be able to hold off on that Social Security until you know sixty-seven, seventy years old. So. Our first world out there of money is the banking world. Nothing real sexy about it, but there's a need for it. Yeah, the banking world is where you're gonna find uh, two sources, which is gonna be safety um, and liquidity. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can go into your bank account, get your money anytime you want it. You can be sure that it's not gonna lose any value, but you're really not gonna have an opportunity for growth. So uh, your banking world is where you're gonna probably wanna put your emergency fund. <coughs> Um, you know, at least six months of what your income would be for uh, an annual basis. Um, and this will allow you to not have to access those other two funds, whether it be the Wall Street or the insurance world, mm -hmm. in the event that an emergency comes out. Yeah, so you got to have that emergency account uh, no matter what. But now, something that kind of blows me away a little bit, and we just had this conversation with some folks last night. 
so many people still believe in CDs, and they believe in CDs for two reasons. One, their money is controlled, and they're not at risk, and two, they're gonna get some interest on those CDs. The average three-year CD right now is paying about 1% in interest, and every single year, you're taxed on that 1%, so you really don't make a 1%. So just to throw it out there for you guys real quick, Ty and I have a three-year program right now, it's like a three-year CD, paying 2.4% guaranteed every single year, and it grows tax-deferred. So you don't pay the tax on that 2.4%. So if that's something, if you're a CD person out there and you got a CD coming up for renewal, um, you know, coming out of its phase of one, two, three, four, five years, call us. Uh, we'll be able to help you out with that uh, real easy. The second rule is the insurance world. Now, you and I like the insurance world. Uh, I think it's a vital part of your retirement planning. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's one of the pieces to the puzzle. Um, you know, when we were talking about budgeting for retirement, what you're going to uh, create with your budget is the amount of income that you're going to need on a monthly or annual mm -hmm. basis uh, to satisfy your core costs. And those core costs can be, um, you know, you want to look at how much you're going to bring in from Social Security. If you're lucky enough to have a pension, how much you're going to be able to bring in from that. And then you're going to have a gap. Uh, some people might, some people will a gap of what you'll need to satisfy your core cost. And, and that core cost gap, uh, a great solution for that may be uh, an insurance product like an annuity that can provide you with a lifetime income that you can't outlive. It may also have some additional benefits like some long-term care insurance mm -hmm. built in. Uh, and then the other part of the insurance world is going to be uh, life insurance. Yeah. You know, If you're looking to create a legacy like we talked about earlier, if that's one of your goals, uh, a great way to create a legacy, and of course it's going to be tax-free, is to use life insurance as a vehicle to do that. Yeah, so it really comes into play, and, and Todd used a word there called annuity. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to do an annuity. I promise you on a day-in, day-out basis, you know, we hear this, and, and we know there are some really good annuities out there, and there's some really bad annuities out there. Uh, we love the annuities that provide a guaranteed income for the rest of your life. We love the annuities for some long-term care planning even. Uh, some legacy planning. So there are some good annuities out there. That's why you need to work with someone like us so we can educate you on which ones are good. Uh, and when it comes to life insurance, you got to have it. Um, and so many people worry about long-term care. The second fear uh, of retirees is health care. Uh, we can use life insurance, Todd, and, and provide health care if they need it. But if they don't need it, the money just passes through their beneficiaries. Yeah, and just to be clear, what we're satisfying with the insurance world is going to be safety. Uh, you can't lose right. your principal. Uh, and it's going to be growth, but you're going to be sacrificing some liquidity, right. and you want to make sure that you're aware of that. Um, you know, when you make a uh, an agreement with an insurance company, whether it be an annuity or a life insurance product, there's going to be a certain period of time where you're going to be giving up some liquidity, and all the different options out there are a little bit different. So you want to make sure that you're looking at all the ins and outs and, and understanding exactly what you're getting into. And, and that's why it's only a piece of the puzzle, right? I mean, it's not the whole puzzle. So. Uh, the third one is the one that most of us are familiar with, and that's going to be the Wall Street world. So most of us out there have worked for a company uh, with a 401k, a 403b, something like that. A lot of you might have individual IRAs that you that you are working with out there. So this is our money that's going to be in the market tied. And, you know, is there growth potential? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, is there liquidity? In a lot of places there is. With, uh, but, you know, you got your risk. You got to right. consider now. Yeah, so when you're looking at all the different pieces to the puzzle, uh, your Wall Street world, once you've got your other uh, pieces satisfied, mm -hmm. which is gonna be your income, which is gonna be your emergency fund, you can use the Wall Street world to help offset inflation. Uh, it's gonna give you a little bit better opportunity for growth, but you don't wanna have to use those funds uh, to access on an annual basis for income or emergency because you know, like we've seen earlier this year, if the market is down and you're having to access those funds uh, while the market is down, you're doing yourself a disservice. Yeah, so Wall Street World is a very interesting as well. And again, we use the word education a lot because you got to make sure that if you're in the Wall Street World that you're doing it the right way. Uh, and when I say the right way, so many times we see such high fees uh, going along with the Wall Street World. Um, you know, if you're someone and you're you're tied up in some Class A mutual funds. Uh, you know, you may have had an upfront cost of 5.5% on those fees, but they just, fees add up and fees can actually, you know, devastate your retirement plan. So again, we will educate you. We will show you, um, you know, where you might be able to make some changes to, to better the Wall Street world of money, Todd. And that's what it's all about, right? People coming in, having a conversation. It is, yeah. So it's about looking at your whole situation, your goals, figuring out what your blend from each of these worlds mm -hmm. might be. 
Uh, and that can be done uh, by having a conversation. We can also uh, analyze the uh, current risk that you're exposed to right. yeah. and find out if uh, maybe you're too heavily exposed to risk uh, moving into retirement. The reality is you have to make a transition from uh, growth uh, at all um, cost, really, right, right, when you're right. younger, yeah. uh, to preservation and, uh, and what's going to allow you to, to uh, not have that income coming in for the rest of your life. Yeah, so we're, we'd love to help you out. Uh, several different ways you can reach us here in Chattanooga locally. Our local office number is 423-710-9199, 710-9199. If you're listening outside of the Chattanooga area, 888-480-7526. Again, 888-480-7526. And you can always shoot us an email. It's at info at giaplan.com, info at giaplan.com. We'd love to sit and have a conversation with you. We don't charge at all to have a conversation with you. We'll even put a plan together for you and make suggestions for you, all at no cost. We just hope that we can uh, you know, show you some great avenues uh, where your retirement planning can be better. So uh, happy Friday, everybody. Yeah, we want to apologize for the uh, lighting in here. Oh, my gosh. Really it's kind of crazy. Doing a good job for <laughs> so we'll figure out a different spot to do that. Yeah, so time. we should be in our office next week. And like I said, we came in and we we're going to do it up front. But the lighting's great. But uh, we had a lot of workers in here. So Ty and I snuck in the back room uh, to do the video today. But hey, it is what it is. It's a Friday. Uh, you got the weekend coming up. Some great football this weekend. Hopefully. Yeah, Hopefully. it's some great weather. Jeez. So uh, you guys get out there and enjoy it. God bless. Take care. Have a good one.